once, there was a Church of England bishop who dreamt of building a college to promote and spread Christianity in the East. The year was 1819 and India still had a long way to go before its independence. River Hooghly meandered between Howrah and Calcutta, which was then on the verge of development with earthen roads, palanquins and horse carriages. The Bishop of Calcutta, T.F. Middleton, received a donation of £5,000 from the Society for the Propagation of the Gospel and £10,000 from the Church of England Missionary Society for Africa and the East. The East India Company donated 62 bighars of land at Shippur on the Hooghly River opposite Calcutta. It was covered by overgrown thickets and marshy water bodies and yet the bishop quite liked it. On 15th of December 1820, the foundation stone of his dream college was laid. Architect William Jones, who was nicknamed Guru Jones, designed the college building and completed it in 1828. A beautiful Gothic-style chapel was built, the first of its kind in India. The college was named Bishop's College. Years later, in 1844, the brilliant and rebellious Bengali poet Michael Modhushudan Dotto joined the secular department of Bishop's College. Modhushudan Bhavan, a part of the chapel, was later named after him. Michael spent some of the most vibrant years of his legendary life at Bishop College. A cemetery lies in a quiet stretch of land on the campus. The oldest epitaph bears the date 1816. Bishop's College later shifted to Calcutta, but the stone slabs in the cemetery and the dusty lines embedded on them remained on the lush riverside turf. The British tried hard to make this backward country a comfortable abode for themselves. But there was a severe dearth of technically trained people in India. The Council of Education of Bengal introduced a civil engineering department at Hindu College in Calcutta. Educating the natives was cheaper and easier than bringing technological experts from Europe. In 1856, the College of Engineering was established at Hindu College, which later became Presidency College. Simultaneously, other engineering colleges were set up in Roorkee, Madras and Pune. Calcutta's College of Engineering's first admission test was held on the 20th of November 1856 and classes began with 10 students on 24th of November. The principal was Captain W.S. Sherwell and the professor of mathematics was Mohindralal Shom. Professor Shom was appointed on a temporary basis and was soon replaced by Professor H. Scott Smith. There was an acute shortage of space at Hindu College, so the engineering college was shifted to a portion of the writer's building in 1856 itself. The University of Calcutta, the first university in India, was established on 24th of January 1857 and the Engineering College became affiliated to it. Gradually, 
and awareness of the socio-political conditions of India awoke the conscience of the educated Indian youth. The British government intended to create generations of most obedient servants in this country by educating them according to their own system. Ironically, however, the first few batches of students from Calcutta University became pioneers of the Swadeshi movement, the first systematic rebellion against the British Raj. Education had enlightened and unshackled them. The engineering college was expanding. It required its own campus, practical training workshop, new disciplines of engineering, more classrooms and laboratories. A committee formed by the government of Bengal decided to resettle the college in the vacated premises of Bishop's College on the Howrah side of the river Hooghly. With shipbuilding factories in the area, this was an ideal location for an engineering school. On 29th of March 1880, the government bought 120 acres of land along with the buildings of Bishop's College from the Society for the Propagation of the Gospel for 3 lakh rupees. Thereafter, the college had a new name, Government Engineering College Howrah. Classes began in the handsome buildings designed by Guru Jones, portions of which became residential quarters for the principal and the professors. Barracks on the campus became hostels for the students. Practical training classes were held in this workshop, which actually belonged to the municipality. In 1897, the workshop was taken over by the college as its very own. The first Bachelor of Engineering examination was held in 1886. This is Downing Hall, the first student's hostel. It was built in 1886 and named after the first principal of the Howrah campus, Sir S. F. Downing. In 1889, the college hospital was built. Earlier, a part of the Downing Hall had been used for medical services. In 1893, the college library was built. Until then, the study room of the old Bishop's College served as the library. After the introduction of the Department of Agriculture in 1898, there was a huge leap in the number of students applying for admission. In 1903, two new hostels were built, Slater Hall for Hindu students and Baby Slater Hall for Muslim students. The hostels were named after the second principal of the college, Sir J. S. Slater. The college community hall was constructed in 1920. In 1924, a water tank in the form of a clock tower was built for supplying water throughout the campus. An ex-student of the college, Rai Bahadur Girish Chandra Das, became the engineer in charge for the construction of the Calcutta High Court in 1891. In 1900, another former student, Rai Bahadur Unukul Chandra Mitro, became the engineer in charge for the construction of the Victoria Memorial. In 1921, the college was renamed as the Bengal Engineering College, Shippur. By this time, the college had nationwide fame. The curriculum was redesigned according to modern technological advancements and for the first time, the college took up developmental projects jointly with the government and private organizations, marking a significant turning point in the institution's history. Just before I joined in 1948, a very interesting person who during my first year in 1944 was a professor of mathematics of this college. Dr. Sengupta came 
with a mandate from government of India to raise the standard of this institution, because it was just after independence in 1948 you joined, to a first class engineering college. In fact, to me, we may mention that he is the architect of modern Bengal Engineering College, or what do you say, BESU. When uh, we came as students, that was in the year 1947, the whole country went through the turmoil of independence, the famine in Bengal, and uh, uh, the lot of people, refugees were there. But we came through examination. I remember that I was supposed to pursue medical education. But the country was just independent, and I noticed in the paper that all the doors will be open for women because the country is independent. So I came running with my elder brother to get a form, filled it up, appeared in the uh, uh, entrance examination here. At that time, I couldn't imagine I will get admission because B College was the topmost engineering institution in the whole of India. The growth and prosperity of the Bengal Engineering College is greatly indebted to the dedicated professors and teachers of the institution. There are treasured memories on this ancient campus. Each hostel is named after the ex-principals of the institution. Today, the institution has 16 hostels. campus grew out of the swamps and marshy land along the river Hooghly. The tiny sapling of the little engineering college which was transplanted here has now become a major educational establishment. In 1992, Bengal Engineering College, Shippur, achieved the status of a deemed university. A college মূল্যায়ন করার আমার একটা সুযোগ এসেছিল এমএইচআরডি ভারত সরকারের একটি কমিটি তৈরি করেছিলেন তিনজনের প্রফেসর আনন্দ কৃষ্ণন আমি এবং অধ্যাপক ডিভি সিং যিনি রুড়কির ভাইস চ্যান্সেলর ছিলেন এবং আমাদের বলা হয়েছিল সাতটি প্রতিষ্ঠান ভারতবর্ষের ঘুরে দেখতে এবং নয়টি প্রতিষ্ঠান এবং তাদের মধ্যে কতগুলিকে IIT রম আইটি সমতুল্য প্রতিষ্ঠানে পরিণত করা যেতে পারে আমরা ওই নয়টি প্রতিষ্ঠান দেখেছিলাম